Hello, I hope you're doing well. The reason I wanted to reach out today was to let you know that while we are busy uh, with our transition to IROC and paperwork and preparing all that and reaching out to you to sign those types of forms, we are still here and we are still focusing on what's going on in the market and looking ahead and looking at the fundamentals and all of that. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time sharing with you some of the things that are currently going on in the market. Specifically today, I wanna to focus on the idea of earnings per share versus value and price of the underlying stocks. So on a really simplified ba basis, when we talk about what that means, it's profitability of a company versus the value of a company. And again, if you strip out some of the extra and factors and think of it from a really simplified perspective, the profitability of a company, the more it makes, the more value it should have, the more it should be worth. Again, on the flip side, if a company is not profitable or not making as much money, you would expect the value to decline. So I'm gonna share with you right now a graph that plots the earnings per share of companies versus the value of companies looking at the S&P 500. And what you'll see is that these lines tend to follow each other. Again, it makes sense. As the companies are profitable, you will see the value of those companies go up and fall. There are some different factors in there, but they do tend to follow generally the same pattern. So bear with me here while I just, non-technology, um, show you a graph of what the market has looked like over the last while. And again, what you see is those numbers do seem to track along with one another. However, what you see at the end there is a big difference and a moving apart of those two numbers. The profitability of companies has gone down since the start of COVID. We've not been able to go and shop and spend the money we would normally spend. Therefore, profitability of some of those companies has gone down. The flip side is though, and what's a little different is the market has come up and you see that, that separation between value and profitability. And what that means is that people are expecting the profitability of these companies to rise up to sort of meet that market value. So the expectation being that sometime over the somewhat short term that there will be a vaccine or a treatment for COVID and that we will be able to go out and start spending money the way we would normally start spending money and you will see that profitability come up. And we started to see that a little bit with the restriction of lockdowns and some of the recent reports on um, earnings per share. You have seen meet the expectations a little bit. However, the flip side is also a possibility. If we do not get the vaccine or treatment or whatever it may be, or even if we do and it's not as quickly or as um, prevalent and up and everybody hasn't taken it, you may not see that uptick in profitability as quick and therefore may see the market come down to meet. Now again, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know exactly what is gonna happen here. The reality is probably somewhere in the middle, but again, we don't know this. So why am I saying all of these, what may happen? Really, it's not to tell you that you should start try to predict the market. We have learned time and time again that that does not work. I think we got a really good reminder of that this year. In March, we had a very fast, very quick correction in the market. And anybody who got nervous and started pulling out partway down under the fear that this was going to go on forever and get worse and worse, missed one of the fastest rallies in all time to bring us back to where we are now. So timing the market doesn't work. But it is good to have an idea and an expectation of where things may go in the future. And we've been taking care of that for you. Our funds are designed to be able to move and be agile in these market times and recognize trends like this. We have professionals doing the homework and doing the work in the background to make sure that your money is being managed based on everything going on in the world right now. So what can you do is really Yes, write it out, but also know that you're not just writing it out. We are making trades on your behalf and making sure that we are managing this for you. Although that does not mean that you will not see volatility both up and down as clearly we have seen over the last few months. So with that in mind, the other thing that you can do is make sure that your plan is up to date. Do you have money that you intend to take out over the next short term? Have there been any major spending things that have come up and popped up that we're not aware of that we should be taking some money out and making sure that it is locked in should the market have a second dip? 
that's important to know so that we can make sure that your plan really does suit you and your investments are tailored to your needs and your goals. Also, we are getting a little bit of an opportunity for a do-over. If you were not comfortable with what happened in the markets in March, it's important that you communicate that with us and we update your risk tolerance and we make sure that the portfolio you are in reflects the variability or the size of swings that you will be comfortable with in the future. Because there is, again, whether it's in the short term, six months, one year, five years, 10 years, there will be another correction. There will be another rally. So we really just want to make sure that we are in the funds that are best suited to your needs so that you're not tempted to pull out during a correction because really those are the people who do get hurt in these scenarios. So I wanted to take a few minutes, just let you know exactly where we are at and that we are watching things for you. Um, we will continue to reach out over the coming weeks and months. However, if you have any questions, any concerns, anything you think we should know, we really would appreciate that you reach out to us. Um, if you do, reach out to us or you have somebody who you share this with who wants to reach out to us, we are happy to take phone calls, take meetings and interact so that we can make sure that you are comfortable and confident that you will still be successful in all of your goals. So thanks a lot. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful weather we are having and hope to talk to you soon. Thanks now.